What's going on everybody, Nick Gashler, um, back here again for another video, um, and today I'm going to take a break from some of the more mainstream prospects like Traylon Burks, like N'Kobe Dean, um, and we're going to take a look at a prospect that not everybody knows his name, uh, but you should know his name, his name is Tyler Smith and he is a badass. Um, number 56, the left tackle for Tulsa, um, I love him, he's like an Ikki Ekwanu who we've already done a video about, but he's a little bit like, a, he's like Ikki Ekwanu light, uh, if you get what I'm saying, he's crazy, and I'm gonna show you why. There are some th drawbacks to him, and some major drawbacks at that, and we're gonna get into it in this first play here, um, Tyler Smith uses outside hand placement, I don't love that, right, right? Let's check out just the first thing he does on this snap is he sets and then he uses his hands and grabs the shoulder pads. You want your hands to be on the inside on the chest plate when you punch. Um, that's going to give you more power and as we see it here, this edge rusher is going to be able to push Tyler Smith back and, and kill his leverage because Tyler Smith doesn't have control over the rep because his hands are outside. It hurts him. Um, additionally, his kick step is a little bit clunky, right? We see. A lot of times, and we'll see later on in the video, that Tyler Smith uh, kind of sits back on his heels in his kick step, and it kind of hurts him, uh, especially when edge rushers, and they don't do it often from the tape that I watched, but um, especially against Cincinnati, they were able to get into his chest and kind of push him back because of the because he's, number one, so high in his pads, and number two, because he has his hands outside, number three, because he's so far back on his heels in his kick step. Um, so this is the first big negative, and the, the this theme of bad hand placement, he draws a lot of holding calls continues throughout the the, the course of his film um but he does, he's a very powerful guy and don't let this play deceive you he's gonna he's physical and he's powerful um he just needs to correct these this outside hand placement uh before it gets ugly on the next level and this play right here is just the beginning of what i'm about to talk about with power and physicality right let's just run it he's your left tackle right here um he's just gonna drive him upfield and put him on the ground Tyler Smith is an angry, angry person, and he is going to show it. He's going to try and take the defense's lunch money every single rep, um, and not much the defense can do about it. Right here, we see a little bit not great hand placement. Again, he, he's pretty violent with his hands, um, and you see at the end where he's like on his back plate and whatnot. But um, still, either way, Tyler Smith finishes here. Gets number 90 out of the run play. He's going C-gap and just opens up this ginormous hole for him. But Tyler Smith does a good job of making it bigger by pushing him and driving him out. I think Tyler Smith does a great job of keeping his feet driving, right? Once he gets it underneath him, let's watch his feet. Once he gets the block secure, he's going to keep running his feet out of the play. And he's going to finish with through that whistle uh, with that somewhat of a pancake or just throwing him on the ground um that's amazing from tyler smith and that's really what i love about him he's able to run his feet and put people in the ground and right on this one we see the kick step kind of show up back up a little bit the the deficiency in it he kind of crosses his feet clicks his feet here we're going to watch that um but his anchor really is really stands out here right 90 is going to try and get into his chest and try and push him like we've seen before um you see how he kind of puts his shoulder in his chest and arm into his chest and going to try and push him up tyler smith does a good job of fighting pressure with pressure here um and and locking out and extending his arms right right there he extends his arm and he's going to be able to sit and let his anchor develop um, that's a great job from Tyler Smith of not just being able to run with number 90, but he's going to stone him right here um, and set an anchor up and not let him get into his chest and bull rush. I'd like to see, again, I'd like to see the kick step improve a little bit. Um, I don't think it was that great. I don't like the motion that it takes where it just goes like that. I'd rather have it be a little bit more progressive that towards the tight end rather than just going like that. Um... And then the footwork isn't great, but he does a great job of being able to reset and set his anchor down and then extend. Um, that that You can't ask for a much better pass protection rep from your left tackle right there um, in terms of anchor and being able to extend. And for this play, we're just going to watch the wide view and then we're going to watch the end zone view. Um, I just want to show you the, the power that Tyler Smith has right here, right? Um, he just takes him all the way out. And let's go watch the let's go watch the end zone view. He takes him out of the screen. He drives number 90 out of the screen. And I love that from Tyler Smith, right? I love that physicality of being able to jump and take him off the screen. Um, 
just takes care of that edge defender. Not that he was a, that huge of a threat. He's an edge defender. But Tyler Smith has that physical bone in him. He's going to be able to drive and get people off the line of scrimmage. I love that. And I love this play in particular just because the, the finish is so nasty at the end. Let's go take a look one more time um, at how nasty Tyler Smith is when he gets to driving his feet and he gets to pushing him over. Hand placement. Let's talk about hand placement as well. Uh, I don't like his right hand right here. It's a little bit of a hold, um, and he's lucky it didn't get called. He leads the college football in holding calls, I believe, but um, this one didn't get called. Um, I just need that to improve, and if he has inside hand placement, he's going to be able to get vertical push rather than, than sideways and backwards push, right? Um, that's a great play from Tyler Smith, though, in terms of just being able to finish Raleigh. And Tyler Smith plays for Tulsa, so he may not be facing the best competition all the time. But uh, there's a guy in this draft class named Majai Sanders, and he's a very good player. I have him graded out as a second-round guy. I think he can be a really good impact player. And here we have a one-on-one -on -one rep with Tyler Smith and Majai Sanders. Um, let's check out what Tyler Smith does to Majai Sanders on this run play again. He's going to flip him and take him out of the play, just like he did on that last one. Um... Hand placement, again, like we talked about, he's underneath the, the sh like the armpit, right? He kind of grabs the back of his arm and is going to get into his back plate. I don't love that. Um, I need that to improve because that's going to call holding fouls. And as somebody who had to was subjected to watching Garrett Bowles do that for like four years, um, it, it is an annoying, annoying thing that I, to see out of the offensive tackles. Can it be taught? Sure. Garrett Bowles figured it out and he didn't have any holding calls last year. Can Tyler Smith figure it out? Sure, he can. Um, I just, but right now he needs to improve that hand placement but this is a really good job of being able to just neutralize Majai Sanders and almost put him into the ground uh, just because of that power and if he had kept driving and kept finishing uh, Majai Sanders definitely would have been in, into the ground potentially with an injury and trust me this is one of the last plays of Tyler Smith just beating the crap out of somebody um, and that's why I love him so much right um, he's just he's recovers well on this rep kind of um, he gets kind of flabbergasted by 90 at first just because his hands go outside immediately while 90s hands go inside uh, another point and his base is way too wide um, his base is not why not the type of wide you want it is way too wide and he doesn't have any power out of that so there are s subtle technical deficiencies in tyler smith's game that if he gets corrected he could be so much better than he already is because we already see him put him in putting number 90 in the ground here um off terrible technique teach this kid some hand usage teach this kid some decent technique in his footwork and his kick step and he's going to be a monster um this is just a really good play of being able to finish um, and then put 90 in the ground and open up that hole for the running back i love that play right there so we've gone over pass blocking we've gone over some run blocking we've gone over the power the hand usage the footwork um decent overview of what i like to see out of my offensive lineman the one thing we haven't covered yet is athleticism and i want to show you guys tyler smith this poll right here um it's a great job of being able to just get out quickly and then get to the other side quickly and find his guy to block he whiffs on the block because he doesn't have good hand placement which is a common theme like i said um but talk about how quick he it looks almost like he's gotten shot out of a cannon he gets down that line uh that's good movement um not a lot of tackles have that but he does and he's able to move really well and some people like him at guard and i get that because he's a mauler and he plays football inside of a phone booth but for me tyler smith i think is a good tackle because he has those movement skills he has the athleticism to do that um plays like this and the next player are good examples of that but I think I, I just love the athleticism out of it. He does that a lot to get up to linebackers in other game film that I watched. Um, I just like Tyler Smith as a whole as a tackle because of that athletic athletic ability. And again, here's another good example of that. Tyler Smith, your left tackle here, is going to be able to get up and get out on this kind of outside zone-esque play um, and go block a linebacker. Um, I love to see that. We saw that with Charles Cross. If you've watched my Charles Cross film session, you saw he, him do that on a screenplay. Uh, but Tyler Smith does a good job of being able to shuck 90 inside to the guard. That's great teamwork there because he's lined up in a four-tech, a five-tech kind of. Uh, and Tyler Smith is able to move him inside to the guard and then get upfield to number zero to block him uh, successfully. That a, a little questionable hand placement, but I think I've been over that. I think I've beaten the dead horse with that a couple times. Um, but still a good job of being able to get upfield and then use his movement ability to find his his player. A lot of tackles when they're up in the in space and stuff, or all, offensive linemen in general, when they're up in space, I see them 
find their target but totally whiff tyler smith doesn't do that here he's able to block him on the right shoulder uh, on the left shoulder for the for the linebacker rather but he's able to block him with this inside shoulder out to open up this lane here that's a little technical thing that linemen have to be aware of and do and tyler smith does a good job of doing that there just a really good all-around block and shows his movement skills as well right and this is the big question that i have about tyler smith's kick step uh kick slide whatever you want to call it he's going to come out here and he does a good job of being able to kick um again it, it's kind of just like that rather than going up like that um i don't love that but notice how high he is right he doesn't have any knee bend he doesn't have any hip bend here um out of his kick step right a little bit of knee bend but not too much not much uh waist bend and i don't like that um and that gets his pads high notice how his helmet is higher than the rest of these players except maybe 71 his helmet is higher than the rest of these guys who are on the inside and even 71 is probably a little bit lower than him i don't like that i don't like that his pads are higher than the rest of these guys as well and that opens up especially with the outside hand placement that opens up this edge rusher of being able i think that's majai sanders being able to get his hands inside um and push him over and he falls over majai doesn't get much success out of that pass rush just because he kind of falls into him but um more power like take aiden hutchinson for example if, if aiden hutchinson sees that and exposes that that's an easy sack and tyler smith is on his back um just because he's so high there's no bend and then he also is kind of far back on his heels he's pretty flat footed here as well um i don't love to see that i, I need to see improvement out of his kick step kick step it's a little clunky um and just not great technique at the moment but the real reason i love tyler smith is because he is just so physical uh let's check this play out uh this is just amazing and he does a good job of correcting his outside hand place we'll get into that in a second but let's just check it out man uh he's going to be able to just throw that 31 fella onto the ground that's beautiful beautiful um physicality and that's football in a phone booth and that's ultimately what i love out of my offensive lineman uh, if you're physical and if you're aggressive you're probably going to make your way in the league because the technique can be taught the aggression can't be taught uh, and Tyler Smith clearly has the aggression and he can get taught the technique as he goes um, but that's a beautiful work I think that's Majai Sanders actually uh, but let's check out how he uses his hands placement this is the potential that Tyler Smith has I think uh, we're going to check this out so he's starts outside Majai starts inside pretty common rep that we've seen thus far but what Tyler Smith does different here is he's going to be able to move his hands underneath Majai's and get them inside and now he has control of the rep now he's going to be able to drive and push and put Majai Sanders in the dirt. Um, that's ultimately what we need to see on a consistent rep-to-rep -rep basis from Tyler Smith. And that was a great example of him being able to do that and him starting to learn that. He just needs to continue to learn that and evolve as a, as a pass blocker or run blocker in this case. Uh, but still a great, great physical, gritty play. Um, I think that is why Tyler Smith has the potential to be a day one prospect for me. So Tyler Smith, if you didn't know the name, now you do. Uh, he is one of my favorite players in this draft class, one of the most underrated players in this draft class, and I think he has a legitimate chance of going day one. Uh, he was a redshirt sophomore, so that's why he not many people know about him. He was kind of a low or a late arrival to the draft class this year, but I think he has a ton of potential as somebody who can make a real impact. I remember Garrett Bowles coming out. I mentioned him earlier, but I remember Garrett Bowles coming out. He was good but he didn't have the hand placement he didn't have the hand placement for a couple years if you can put tyler smith in an area where he can be successful with his hand placement and whatnot then he's going to be a very good player on the next level in my opinion uh he has that physicality he has the athleticism and he, it, you can teach technique to that uh, i think he's a very good player and i think he should be in consideration as like a tackle four or five he's my tackle four currently uh, but yeah, it's just a quick, I just wanted to drop some film on him. Uh, I, I liked him a lot and I had a game of all 22 that I wanted to share. So if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to like and subscribe. We're going to keep trucking and we're going to keep putting out videos. Uh, so make sure to stick around for that. Also, if you have not, be sure to follow my Instagram, Gashler or GDN underscore scouting. Uh, it's a lot of, a lot more consistent content, a lot more content in terms of just scouting reports because it doesn't take that long to make one of those as opposed to taking a long time to make one of these. So make sure you tap in with that and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out.